view with Anna Nicole Smith, who says that people who called her a gold digger after she married an 89-year-old multimillionaire are just jealous pigs. And anyway, she's no longer considerably richer than you. And uh, we are getting brilliant calls from you about mad teachers. Keep them coming. It's uh, the perfect way to take revenge on a sir or a mid. Here's his were aged 89 uh, and 333 million quid. When Anna Nicole Smith married J. Howard Marshall at the tender age of 26, incredibly, people called her a gold digger. But he died a year later and his family hung on to the dosh, so she ended up with about half of nothing. Here's Anna's life so far in pictures. Anna's here for her first British interview. Hello. Nice, of you, to, nice of you to come dressed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> it's a great you. outfit. Just flown in from Italy. Well, let's, let's kick off with the, uh, with the uneasy stuff, you know, the gold digger stuff. Okay. I mean, you, you married the guy and he died a year later. And for the, for the entire marriage and afterwards, you were labelled everywhere as just, you know, wanting him for his money. Uh, yeah. and, it, and it was obviously, for anyone who doesn't know you and, you know, doesn't actually therefore care much about you, it was an obvious thing to say. I mean, you know, he was 89 and you were 26 and he was incredibly rich. Well, what people don't understand is that um, I, I knew my husband prior, four years prior to our marriage. Well, uh, he was 85. I think he was, yeah, 85 or 86. I'm, I'm, yeah. I think he was 86. Yeah. Maybe it was. Uh, he wasn't young anyway. <laughs> he, he was still yeah. an older gentleman. And uh, he'd asked me to marry him uh, many, many times before. And, mm. and I had always said I would like to make a name for myself because of the same problem that everyone you would think uh you married for his money mm. i could have married him up you know a long time ago but i went out and i made my name and i made something of myself and and then i got and, married and then you got married to him yes. would you now be absolutely honest now mm -hmm. um would you have married him if he'd only had 33 dollars in the bank absolutely honestly yes he took care of me and my son he was he was a very good man um he took me out of poverty and uh made me a lady Mm -hmm. And I respect him, and I loved him very much. And I don't mean this sort of cheekily, but, but what do you think you did for him? <laughs> well... You, know, you, know, you made an old man very happy, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, I made him very happy. Uh, I made him smile. I made, I, I made him happy. And uh, it made me happy to make him happy, and it made him happy to make me happy. And how, did you, how did you spend your time, you know, behind closed doors? I mean, what's it like living with somebody, uh, being married to somebody that, that great age? Well, it's, um, it's wonderful. Uh, but what do you do? I mean, you can't play volleyball together or, you know, go for long walks. There's a, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, he was very brilliant. Um, he told me lots of stories. He uh, made me more intelligent. He, he, uh, he just... What are you he saying? Is he, he, he enriched you more than just financially. Right, mm. right. Now, when he died... Uh, which was about a year after you got married, wasn't it? Yeah, a year and a half. A year and a half after you got married. Um, there was this huge battle that we all, all read about where the family said that you were a gold digger and they weren't having you having his money, or in, which was in fact now their money. And, and they won, didn't they? I mean, they won the case. Um, the case is in litigation. I, I'm not allowed to speak. Uh, I've never ran to find my husband's money, like, like the tabs say I have. Mm -hmm. I... I uh, we just started litigation in 96, so I don't know what everyone's talking about. Did he leave a will? Um, I really can't talk about the litigation. All right. But at the moment, you haven't got any. I mean, the, the, the bottom line is that the family are holding on to it at the moment. They've, they, they, they've, they've got the purse strings, haven't they? Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you'd like some of it. I mean, you can say that. I mean, that's not... Um, otherwise, you wouldn't be in litigation. You know, this... Go on. I don't even want to speak really about my husband. You know, he's not here. He's not here to defend me or himself. Mm. And it's just very personal for me. But the litigation goes on, basically. The, the, yes, the, the litigation the does on. go on. Oh, it's a... Right. Uh, well, I appreciate your difficulties. I can, when, when things are in litigation... I can tell you it's a fight, yeah. yeah. If that's what you want to hear. And it's going to go on for some time. But, yeah, yeah, it will. So how are you supporting yourself at the moment, then? I'm working. Mm -hmm. um, getting contracts, doing lots of things. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, I can support myself. It, uh, it's not like I have to have yeah. anything. Well, you've certainly lost a lot of weight, haven't you? I yes, mean, after I you have. died, you, put, you had a lot of troubles. And you, you put on, was it five stone? I put on over 50 pounds. I don't know what that is here in London. What's 50 divided by 14, somebody? Seven? Seven, is it, Bruce? Seven? No. 14 into 70. 14 into, excuse us, we're just doing some maths here. What? Five, but five, we reckon five stone, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's English stone. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of yeah, weight. Yeah, it was a lot of weight. Yeah. Oh, oh, gosh, it was horrible. <laughs> and how did you lose it? I just, uh, I did. I, uh, I, I quit eating. I, well, I used to just constantly eat, 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 because I was so depressed. I was very depressed. And um, I came back from my depression, mm. and I, I, I lost my weight, and I wanted to, to go to work and, and to uh, pull me and my son out of, you know, this depression I was in. Yeah. And um, I did. Well, could, would you mind standing up? Because, you, you sure. know, you're here, and, you know, you've got this extraordinary figure. You've, that must be the, what, <laughs> is that the slimmest you've been, um, would you say? I would have to say that uh, this is the slimmest I've ever been. So what do you weigh now, do you reckon? Prior to my pregnancy. Yeah. So what do you think? You, how many pounds do you have now, do you think? I don't know, because I, I, I can't, I don't know the scales. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's... I it only is, know English scales. It is pretty, I, I it is pretty slim, and yet your reputation is as the big girl, you know? Right, the big model, right. the big actress, and all the rest of it. And, I'm and, still real big. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, what are your statistics now, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, they speak for them. It's okay because they speak for themselves. The point, the point being, what I'm getting at is that uh, that your reputation and, and much of the affection which a lot of your female followers hold you in is because mm -hmm. you're not this kind of a stick insect. You're, you're right. not an X-ray or a coat hanger. Right. Um, are you I'm not. possibly not in danger of losing some of that following if you if you carry on losing the weight? Oh no, I'm staying right here. That's about what I'm staying about what parked it is. right here. I'm not going to disappoint my fans and and go um, any much skinnier. Yeah. I'm going to stay m a woman. And stay the uh, hmm. big model. Stay as you are. Yes, how old are, how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? Um, well, I'm 29. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you say that you're, you're looking now at carving out a, a new career, Phoenix from the Ashes, all, all the rest. Right. You're in Italy, you're doing some modeling there. I'm not right. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the film stuff? Because I know you want to act. Right. Um, I'm going to go to acting school very yeah. soon. And I want to. Uh, study for a little while to show Hollywood that I'm very serious and I'm very determined. Mm. So um, that's that's on my agenda. You want to be like her, don't you? We've got a, got a shot of your uh, your idol. Well, that's you as your <laughs> idol. That's you as Marilyn. Didn't, wow. you, didn't, didn't you actually sing Happy Birthday, Mr. President, <laughs> as Marilyn, to, to Bill Clinton? Well, I, I sang it, but not as Marilyn, but I think they wanted me to uh, make it yeah. as Marilyn. Yeah. But I, I did sing that. Uh, it was um, without music. I had just gotten back from Singapore, and they were knock, 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 beating on my door. Please, 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 please come yeah. and, and sing for the president. You know, you a long time ago, I was like, oh, I'll never sing for the president. But it was like, oh, my God, I'm singing for the president. But do you, did you do it in that breathy, happy birthday, Mr. President? All that stuff. Um, I think I tried, yeah. and did he, <laughs> but I was did, so nervous, I was like, uh... And did you talk to him? Did he give you a, a kind of a private audience? Um, I never saw the president. I never spoke to him. It was uh, just an uh, entertainment business. Oh, I get it. I see. Right, on a tape kind of thing. I understand. Right, right, right. I thought he was actually there. I thought he was in the dining hall or something. Oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> but has word reached you whether he appreciated this, uh, this honour? I don't know. Hmm. He never uh, uh, approached me about it. Doesn't return your <laughs> calls. He's that sing. kind of guy, yeah. Absolutely. I guess I wasn't a very good singer. Yeah. Now, just going back to, to, to the difficult times you had after your, um, your husband died, you, mm -hmm. you, did, you had to go into a clinic, didn't you? And detox yes, I did. and all the rest of it? Yes, I did. What was, the, what was it? Was it drugs or booze? Well, it was a uh, combination of uh, prescription drugs. Mm. It was painkillers. It was antidepressants that I had taken for my husband's. Mm -hmm for my emotional mm -hmm. thing. And uh, I took too much. I messed up, you know, and uh, I paid dearly for it. Mm. I woke up in the hospital in a coma. Mm. Couldn't talk, walk, anything. So I checked myself into uh, the Betty Ford Clinic and I rehabilitated myself. And then... Um, but the Betty Ford Clinic seems to work wonders for people like you. I mean... It, so many oh, yeah, go in does. wrecks, you know. It works wonders. Yeah. How long you don't you... want to ever go, but no, it no, works wonders. No, I promise wonders. you I don't want to go. No. <laughs> no. How, um, how long were you in there for? 
How long did you I was in for? there for um, about a month. And did you come out more or less as you are now, or has it been a long road back? It's been a long road back. Mm. I came out depressed still, mm. but I was off the medication. Mm. But I was very, very depressed mm. still. So that's when I got on my eating binge, yeah. and I was just totally just yeah. scarfing down food. And that was and the next try I get it, and that was the next thing you had to, you had right. to, to beat. Right. Um, I, just, I just became this way in the last eight months. I, uh, I just found an inner peace with myself. Mm. Um, I'm happy. I just I mean, I really pulled myself together, and I just it, it, it just helped me to lose the weight. Are you, just to finish this, are you going to be happy to accept that whatever happens, whatever happens in this litigation case mm -hmm. and all the rest of it, there are going to be a lot of people who will always say, yeah, but she only married the guy for his money, just, just to come full circle. I mean, I, you know that's always going to be with you. I'm not at peace with that. Hmm. My husband, um, y you know, it's really a sad thing that people go around even speaking of my husband when he's not here. Yeah, but well, they're talking about you, you see. And right, you're, and yes, you they are, but mm. it's also him. Mm. To me, they're ta speaking about my husband also. Um, it was his wishes to take care of me, and that's, that's it. No, I, was, I know, I wasn't really going into that anymore. I was just asking, uh, are you kind of reinforced for that? Are you kind of prepared that that's the way, that, that is going to follow you around, you know? Well, it's already following me around. I, I, I don't care. You don't care. All right, fine. Listen, I, it's okay. Well, thanks a lot for being here. You look Thank great. You, for you look great. Me. Um, Thank you very much. And Lauren Hutton, who uh, occasionally does interviews for us, she interviewed you about a year ago. She sounds the best. Oh, oh, she's great. She, li she she's likes you very much. Lady. She likes you very much indeed. I like her very okay. much. Okay, it's good to meet you. Thank thanks you. a lot for coming in. Thank okay, you bye, -bye. Very much. bye bye. Right, got to catch up with uh, with Susan Brooks now in your country. She's gone to New Orleans uh, this week. She gets to the heart and soul of the Big Easy.